Today, I've got to go to Swansea, New Hampshire. Vehicle inspected all that, got back and was missing a hubcap, so. And coincidentally enough, our SDN friend David hit me up, invited me out for the day to film. Hello. So we have a great host and tour guide. Because it's not Thursday. All right, so here we go. I'm heading west. One, I'm looking for a hubcap. Two, to go meet our SDN friend, David. Yesterday I had to do normal people things and get the vehicle inspected, all that. Got back and was missing a hubcap, so. Kind of suitable. David lives out this way. That's where we're going. Eyes peeled to the ground both sides in the event that it came off somewhere after the inspection. If not, we'll be sure to get one at the dealership from them. We'll see what happens. All right, well, real simple. Dealership's gonna order me another one. Have it tomorrow. Got word from David, he'll be here within 10 minutes or so. All right, so here's David. Come in and say hello. Hello. David is gonna be our host and tour guide today. Now, David has been, you've been following SD for a long time, Since right? Since about 2014 or so, early 2014. Yeah, and, and David is a, a patron to the channel, so therefore, I know it's not very bright in here, but you get one of the very few awesome. gray ones. Really? Yeah. That's uh, awesome, thank you. Dame, Nate, and Joe got one, you got the fourth. Really? Well, wow. You're providing That's us awesome. with a, an awesome, That's awesome day today and other stuff and things that I'm going to give you out here. This is that box I got at the cigar shop for three bucks. So. Ah, yeah. All right, so now that we've hooked up, we're going to jump into your vehicle. Yes. And we're just going to go see things. Absolutely. That David has in mind. Because it's not Thursday. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. First on the list, the Carlton Road Covered Bridge, East Swansea. Watching all the planes go by Thinking how the sky can seem so blue I sit alone and I'm watching them from home Okay, so you're saying, have I ever heard of what? The Old Homestead Play. No. It's a play that was written by a gentleman from Swansea in the 1800s. Really? And originally was... was um, performed in Boston in the mid 1800s and was revived in the early 1900s in Swansea and continued on until I think either 2016 or 2017 was the last time that it was performed. Actually the name does trigger a, a neuron. Yeah, Denman Thompson's the gentleman. In uh, 1993 the stage was um, destroyed by an arson fire. Oh and they came back and managed to um, rebuild and the play went on. So this is where they've performed it year after year? Year after year, yeah. That's a great theater. Do they use it for anything else now? They have been doing uh, summer concerts out here. I was going to say, what a great place for a show. Yep. Generations of family members have performed in the, in the play year after year. So that's cool. David said that they actually used to run the shows Friday, Saturday, and Sunday nights, but unfortunately as times change and there's lack of interest from the community, it's uh, not that way anymore. That's got to be exhausting too, though. Yeah, they, they put a lot of time in to rehearsals, right. volunteer for times, fundraising. Right. All right, what's next? We're going to go to a place called uh, Arthur Godfrey's Kissing Bridge. I know the name. But, more than likely, there probably won't be any kissing going on. There's not going to be any kissing all right, we're cool at then. all. <laughs> all right, so this is in fact the kissing bridge? This is Arthur Godfrey's kissing bridge. Um, in 1953, Arthur Godfrey used this bridge in 
in one of his Chesterfield uh, cigarette commercial, the governor of New Hampshire at the time, Hugh Gallen, was so impressed by that that he um, gave Mr. Godfrey an honorary deed, so he was part owner of the bridge. Wow. As we all know, nothing goes better together than kissing and cigarettes. So what comes in between the <laughs> problems. <laughs> that is so cool. It's, it's remarkable, all the little bits and pieces of history, even just around our home area that had no idea about. Those are the little tidbits that interest me. Absolutely. I love knowing those little things. How many people do you think drive over this every single day, and I've probably driven over it myself, and have had no idea? I'm sure 99.9%. .9%. Right. All right. Are you going to tell us where we're going next, or are you just going to leave us... We're going to go way, way, way back in time. Okay. All right. So we're only going to show you a slight angle of this because this is sacred. When he said back in time, he's not kidding. Confirmed. Carbon dating. About 11,000 11, years. 11,000 years ago. Proof has come out of right here. This part of the video is more for David to share with me the story and we won't show you too much because obviously we want to keep it safe. Absolutely. Thank you for that story. You're That's welcome. Next. A dead road, paved still. This is what's known as the old Route 10. Oh, cool. Yeah. 19, during the 1950s, they constructed the new Route 10, which went straight. This kind of curves around a little bit, and this road was no longer in use, obviously. It actually looks in pretty good shape. <clears throat> it is. Still it is. kind of a active fire lane if needed? If needed, yeah. Yep. Yep. Paved most of the way through. Oh yeah. Wow. It's almost completely covered over. Yeah. Yeah, somebody had livestock up in there. because that family was so influential they uh, convinced the town to expand their mill hence this street was born Swansea Street So we're out where the dirt road turns to dead road and I'll pop our heads out and look around for a little bit. There's an old cemetery. Oh, cool. And we can start by looking there. Before I roll this segment, I just want to let you know I'm back home and I've been sitting, reflecting, and thinking. Usually takes a good cigar. I had some conversations with David off camera. This situation here is completely unacceptable and we need to do something about it. I don't know how we're gonna do it. I may call upon the local members of SDN, but after you see this, I'm sure you will completely agree something needs to be done. Check this out. Wow! This has deteriorated since the last time I was here. Wow, this is something else. And you know what? Look at, because of the stumps and everything, this was full on forest. Mm -hmm. What a shame. 
I am absolutely blown away and for several reasons. One, this is way out in the middle of nowhere. Two, how neglected it is. And three, people live near it currently. I haven't done anything about it. There are stones down on the ground everywhere. Oh my god. I've got to say that this is probably the saddest thing I have seen since I've been doing this. And I think in the last five years it's deteriorated a lot. Five years ago I was here and a lot of these stones were standing. I don't even know what to think. That's all that's left. You can't even read anything on it. Eighteen oh nine. I mean, David, there's there's probably a lot more stones sitting underneath mm -hmm. this growth. And from what I'm seeing, most of them are mid to late eighteen hundreds, which, in the span of local history, isn't all that long ago. And that's all I filmed. David and I were beside ourselves. David is a great guy, knows his history, loves his history. And for the record, that is not in Swansea, New Hampshire, where we were. So on David's end, he's going to see what he can do, who he can call, what he can find out. And if there's anything that we collectively as a group and of locals can do about it, you bet your ass we're going to, because that is just sad. Well, that was absolutely awesome, David. A lot of fun. Not Thursdays are great. I literally just got the tour of the town from a guy who's lived there his entire life. Got to make a video and share it with all of you, so talk about a winning situation. It's awesome, a lot of fun. Yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed that. Any words of wisdom that you'd like to share with the audience before we go? You said something earlier, you said, just do things right, always do the right thing. Stay true to yourself. Stay true to yourself. That yeah. was the conversation. That was it. He's a smart guy. All right, well, I gotta go do other things. Yeah. Me too. We'll listen for you. Yeah. Not too many people understand that, but I'll listen for you. Yeah. I guess while I'm cruising home, we'll keep looking out for that hubcap. I may <laughs> be able to use a spare, so. That's it, another not Thursday. David, thank you. I also wanna say a thanks to Joe for when he came up this weekend, bringing fifth year anniversary celebratory cigars. And that's it. We'll see you soon. Remember, time is life. Don't waste one second of it. Jen says hello, everybody. See ya.